The Reynolds step out together for the first time and it's all caught on the gram. I'm Hyla in Hollywood and this is the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. Less than a month after their secret wedding, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds were back on the wedding trail over the weekend to catch up with some friends who were getting married. And right now joining us via Skype is Kim Serafin, senior editor of In Touch magazine. Uh, Kim, tell us, who were they visiting? And this is quite a little magical wedding that took place in the woods. Yeah, exactly. Of course, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, newlyweds themselves, uh, were spotted uh, and photos were taken of them at the wedding of Blake's friend, Amber Tamblin. She married David Cross this past weekend uh, and it was the first time they were spotted out and about. And we know this because we have pictures from Questlove who posted these pictures that he took of the wedding. It was kind of a non-traditional wedding, a fall foliage type of wedding, uh, but beautiful. And uh, it, it looks great because you're seeing these pictures from a guest. You know, he tweeted, he said it was a wedding in the woods. He referred to it as a camp. Uh, but it's this beautiful wedding. And what a nice way for Blake and Ryan to make their first appearance at, you know, uh, Amber Tamlin, co-star of Blake Lively's. And at Blake Lively's wedding, Amber was there, Alexis Liddell, um, America Ferrera, all those girls from the tra uh, this, the sister of the sisterhood of the traveling pants. So it's really nice that they've really stayed friendly and really have uh, included each other in each other's weddings. I find this way more interesting than any stupid paparazzo who is chilling on the corner trying to wait for them to to leave a re restaurant. Like you said, Questlove he DJed last night. I actually happened to see this as he was posting it on his Instagram, which is a great one. You should follow it. Of course, he's a member of the Roots, and they're the house band on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. And, and it's just super cute. Is that him trying to grab a picture? It's like, yo, this is the party. This is what's happening. I put a killer filter on it, and now it's being picked up by every single news outlet. Let's talk about the newlyweds, the reason everybody was at this party. Amber's 29, David's 48. Okay, now this doesn't always work out for people. I, you know, Ashton and Debbie come to mind. Is this like another odd couple pairing? Are they going to make it? What's your take on their, uh, their relationship? Well, you know, they have been together since 2009. They confirmed their engagement in 2011. So they've been together for a really long time. And, you know, look, couples that are around the same age, those marriages sometimes don't work out also. So, look, yes, you can say there's a big age difference. I'm actually glad people are talking about the age difference just because I always feel like, why do they always talk about it when it's the woman who's the older one? Why <laughs> does that get all the scrutiny when it's Jennifer Lopez or Madonna or Demi Moore? So if you're going to talk about it when the woman is the older uh, member of the couple, then talk about it when the man is. But, you know, again, look at so many couples that have broken up that are around the same age and it hasn't worked out. And then you have other couples where there is a big age difference and it's continued and it's lasted. Uh, Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I mean, there are so many couples where it really does work out, so. Well, um, you know, the thing is, just speaking from a guy's perspective, I mean, David Cross, he's 48. I'm hoping I can ball with younger chicks when I'm that age. That's all, you know, that's that's why I want to give the guy a high five if I yeah, see him exactly. in, in the streets. Okay, they now. They, they obviously are a great couple. They're obviously in love. They've been together a really long time. Uh, so I, I think everyone wishes them the best. And I think, you know, you can't, but who, who comes up with these things about age? You know, it's just really up to who you are and where you are in your life and where you are in your career and if you really love each other. And clearly these two people do. I feel you. We'll get to the dress in just one second, but I do want to ask this uh, wedding, for lack of a better term, we've used the word rustic around uh, the office, even uh, eclectic and quirky. There was a critter cake. She rolled up in a canoe. Did I read that right? Yeah, she, you, you, in these pictures from Questlove, you see her coming up in a canoe or it might be a kayak. Uh, that's how she arrived at the ceremony. She walked barefoot. She was wearing a, a bright yellow gold mustard dress, not the traditional white wedding dress. Uh, she had beautiful flowers in her hair. But you know what? It really makes sense because if you're going to have a wedding in the fall with fall foliage behind you, then wear a, a mustard yellow wedding dress to pick up the beautiful colors. I, I thought it was perfect. Again, if you're getting married in autumn, then make it look like an autumn wedding. So this is definitely non-traditional, but she looked beautiful. And everyone should do this. Be your own person. And that's really who Amber really is. I'm down for the yellow dress. I mean, realistically speaking, nobody should be wearing white on their wedding day unless you're Steve Carell and the 40-year-old virgin. All right. Uh, Kim, thank you for hanging out. And you can check out more of these photos and get more on this story. All you got to do is head on over to CelebBuzz.com.